Good Monday morning. Here we are. It's Makeup Free Monday. Yay! No makeup today, which is always an awesome day for me. I always like to let my skin breathe and have a little rest. Of course, I always put on moisturizer, but hey, that's that's kind of a thing. But I don't put on any other kind of makeup on Makeup Free Monday. So if you're the first time that you've ever watched one of my videos, I do reference things from previous videos, but I try to catch you up. So on the last video, it was the video that I took before I ran my very first 5K ever in my whole life. I was so excited. It was a foam run, which, you know, was supposed to be like really fun. And that, that was the reason I did it. I didn't want to do like a competitive run on my first one because I felt like that might be too much. So my husband and I went and it was at nighttime, and that particular evening in Florida, it was 66 degrees, I think, and so it was a lot cooler than we had expected, and the humidity was only like at 57, per, excuse me, 57 percent, so it was a lot chillier than we had expected, but that was good. I don't know what's going on. I think my tea is bothering my stomach. Anyhow, we went, and we had, we went to the party that they have beforehand if you hear my pug he's over here so he's been snorting a little bit and shaking his head a little bit i need to clean his ears but if you hear him that's what that noise is down there and i have lucy joining me back there good morning lucy she always likes to lay on my couch while i do the videos because it's comfy and i allow it because this is my office and i can do what i want we went to the race and it was interesting because I did not realize when I signed up because it was nowhere to be found on the website that this race was not going to be held on pavement or sidewalk or anything. And it was in it was at a fairgrounds, which essentially means the field where they would have all the tents and the games and stuff like that. That was where the race was. And so the terrain was very uneven and very there were tire tracks and there were ATV tracks and there were just like ruts and things everywhere which in and of itself is not a bad thing it was just it it made it harder work to run but the biggest issue for me was the fact that it was not lit at all so you were running on that very rough terrain in the dark and so at one point, I was like, wow, this is really not safe. I felt like this isn't really safe to like be running like this. And then I remembered I put my phone in a little pouch that I carry around my waist because I needed it for, you know, like keys and stuff like that. So I took my phone out and I turned my flashlight on and that helped immensely. That helped not in any way, shape or form to make it easier to run, but it helped my mental state of... I don't know if I'm going to be able to run this way with just having no light and worrying about falling is what I was I was worried about rolling my ankle or falling and we finished the race and it was fun and it was like okay that was that check that's one I don't have to do again because I don't want to it was not what I expected they did give me a cool t-shirt and I showed it to you on Friday and when you were running there were three foam stations and it was essentially these two tubes coming down like this and it had like soap bubble things that was a little bit a little bit colored so when you ran through your nice white t-shirt that they gave you kind of got a tie-dye effect and I say that effect because it really didn't dye it too much so here's the shirt and at the very bottom, I'm peeking so I can see. At the very bottom, you can see that it's a little bit pink. And there's a little more pink over here. And there's some yellow and green. And so it's it's not really dyed. I, th I think this is going to come out when I wash it. But hey, it was fun. Would I do it again? Probably not that one because I don't want to run on terrain. But, you know, I did it that my goal was to run a 5K. And so guess what I did? I ran a 5K. That was Friday. Saturday, Sunday came, did my normal stuff, went to see a movie. It was okay. And then this morning, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try something today. I'm going to try 
Um, my last runs have been 45 minutes long, and so today I felt like I needed to increase that time. So this morning I ran 48 minutes. Yay! Non-stop. I did not stop. And I made it um, further than I have ever made it, of course, obviously because you're running for three minutes longer. But I think I ended up running something like four and a half miles in 48 minutes. So I was I was happy with that. You know, I'm not going for speed at this time because I don't want to. <laughs> and there's no point in me to. I'm not like, that's not going to be a thing. But I, I wanted to see how far I could run. And so I'm just gradually increasing that time. I probably will stay at 48 minutes for probably a good couple of weeks before I increase it, increase it to 50. I'm probably going to do 51 minutes next time, just a little at a time. And eventually I'll get it up to an hour. And then that'll be good. Um, at, I figure at an hour, that should put me right at a 10K. So that's a good thing. And that's my goal is to, my next goal is to run a 10K. But in the meantime, I'm going to be running 5K. So I ran uh, a little bit more than a 5K today. To, uh, Wednesday's run will be a short run. And I'll try to run faster on that one. And then Friday will be another run like I did today. So too hard, too, I wouldn't say hard, two more difficult runs, I guess. They're not really that hard. It's just longer and one short per week. And I'm feeling much stronger. I'm feeling better. My clothes are fitting better, which is nice. I had on a pair of shorts yesterday that I hadn't been able to wear in a year because I couldn't like pull the button closed. And now I pull the button closed, zip it up. It's no problem. And the same is true with the shorts I'm wearing today. So that makes me feel good. That's where all that running stuff is coming from. I just needed to feel better, not only um, physically, but I needed to feel better about myself. So that's that's the whole point. All right, today is Makeup Free Monday. I not I do not wear any makeup on Mondays at all, and I typically do a facial treatment, and that's what I'm going to do today. I have a. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, then I typically try to show you something new or something that I found and I'm trying out. And I've had this product for probably about a year, I would guess. And I don't know what happened. I guess I just forgot about it or forgot I had it or, you know, you, you just get so distracted with life that you forget things. So I had this and I was like, oh yeah, I should start using that again, especially for my lip lines. My focus is or my problem areas that I focus on are my lip lines as far as wrinkles are concerned. Lip lines, the lines right here between my eyes, my forehead lines, and then a little bit over here. Not too much over here and not too much underneath. I'm, I'm kind of okay with those. I have one line that's starting right here that I'm not real happy about. So I'm really focusing on these lip lines by not drinking out of straws anymore. I've never smoked. Ever, but I've drunk out of straws and it's the same motion of your mouth right and you see there they are there's those lip lines I'm gonna pull in close so you can see them in all their glory and my forehead lines from going like that all the time and like that so you know I have some issues that I'm addressing as I get older and this is one of those things so this product that I have today to show you is a derma wand and I had forgotten that I had this and I can't believe it and I remember when I was using it in the beginning that I was like oh yeah this is really working good and I don't mind this at all and it's not you know and I don't know why I stopped using it I can't for the life of me figure it out but I'm gonna start using it again to combat these fine lines I'm not going down without a fight oh my dog wants to bark and play right now and I'm going to show you how it works and what it does and what they say it does, etc. All right, so here is the derma wand. It looks like this derma wand, and it has this little cap, and they they very thoughtfully put the word cap on it because you you take that off to use it. And essentially, what what it does, there is a light here, and I'm going to show you, and it's a heat source too. Um, it's very mild. It's a mild heat source. And when you turn it on, there are multiple settings on the back. Let's see if I can see, make it 
so that you can see that. Boop. Okay, so let's see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then it goes to ten. No, it goes to nine. And I'm going to only set it on number three today because I haven't used it in a while. Um, you can start it at number one, but for me that is too mild, and I'll explain what that is. So that's on setting number three, and that's just to decrease sort of the intensity that goes on here. And so what you do, and I'm going to demonstrate in just a moment, is you put like they send you two bottles of moisturizer, essentially. One is this big, and it's this one. And then this is the, the other one. So this is the one that you use. Um, you put it on before you start using your, your derma wand. And that's going to help it glide a lot better, this little cap thing, because this is actually going to touch your skin and glide across it. And you'll hear it going, Z -Z 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 -Z. it's like a So I'm going to go across my lip, and it's pretty, what would I say? Um, it's a creamy, that looks bad, doesn't it? It's a creamy, very silky, that's the word I should use, silky cream, which is kind of nice. And I'm going to put it right under my eyes, because I am going to do a little bit of work over here and a little bit over here. And then I'm going to do my 11s, and I'm going to get that in there real good. And across my forehead, that's where my most noticeable lines are. And the way you're supposed to do this three times a week, so I'm going to try it for three times a week, and we'll see how we're doing. Um, it says that it takes about a month before you start seeing like real results or whatever. And I will tell you, when I had my procedure done on my neck, they told me it was going to take six months to start seeing uh, the final effect. And so that's what I feel like I'm, I'm seeing right now. And it looks a lot better than it did even a month ago. So that makes me happy. So I'm going to put this right in that line under my neck. You know, and they always tell you, go up. I'll probably do a little bit right there too. Just a little bit. And you don't have to use this derma wand for very long on the areas. I mean, you essentially make a couple of passes. You, you like swirl it, swirl it. So let me show that to you now. I'm going to plug it in. It's really simple to use. It's pretty effective, I think. All right, so I've turned it on now. And you can see the little flashy light. See that going boop, 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 boop. And I'm going to kind of come in close so that you can hear what it sounds like because it does have kind of like a shocky sound, but it is not shocking and it is not painful. And you just glide it. Across. So it's not hard to use. 
and it's not painful to use and if it gets some results why not right the thing that they tell you in their marketing stuff and I'm just gonna keep going back and forth for about 30 seconds on my top lip because that's where my most noticeable lines are that you have to use this continuously which okay three times a week continuously all right um, some reviewers have said they've had theirs for years and they love it and they still feel, feel like they've had good results and things of that nature so I'm happy about that so we'll see I'm gonna do this for a month and we're gonna see how my lip lines are doing in addition to the crepe erase products that I'm using so that should be good and this is uh, increasing the blood flow I have a really pretty good line right here so I'm gonna really get you know focus in on that one and so you know this this is not painful at all like there's like a tingling but it's not it's not even a tingling it's just pretty pretty simple all right let's do my forehead lines right here or my 11s as I like to call them and what I probably will do is I'll do it on this setting number three for about a month and then I may increase the setting um, they say you'll get used to it and so that connotes to me that it is going to be um, I'm just going to show you like this so you can see that it's touching my skin and that light is there and you can hear it it's a buzzing noise but it's not you know it doesn't hurt is my point let's do over here across my forehead lines la 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 I know this is not very interesting to to watch me do but it gives you the idea that this is not painful it's simple to do you only have to do it for a little bit of time and so why not right why not try something if it's if it's gonna work or if it's gonna help so we're gonna see and we'll just keep trying it until we see how we're doing all right and I'm kind of an impatient person so I'll do an area and they'll be like okay that's enough and then I'll go on to another area because you know that's just the way I am but I'll go over it uh, my whole face again um, probably two or three more times before I'm completely finished with with what I'm doing yeah, we'll see maybe this will build that collagen up and I'll just looks fantastic now I'll tell you a story I'm gonna tell you two things um, first of all there was an a uh, news report or like a report on the Today Show about women in makeup and one of the questions they asked was why do women wear makeup and so I thought about that for myself and about why I wear makeup and for me personally the reason I wear makeup every day except for Monday <laughs> is that I feel like it makes me feel better about myself if I am at least trying to appear I don't know more polished and more put together now does that have anything to do with me personally as far as um, feeling good about myself or my self-esteem maybe a little but it I really don't wear makeup for other people I really don't I wear makeup for me because I want to appear put together <laughs> because heaven knows I'm not always put together but at least I can give that appearance right and it's it's just something that I feel better about myself when I'm wearing makeup so Mondays are kind of hard for me because I enjoy waking wearing makeup and I enjoy feeling polished and yes I actually have to go to the grocery store today but guess what I'm doing it naked faced and I'm just gonna have to deal with it and you know what we'll all live because you know it's just one of those things I'm not gonna worry about what other people think about I really don't care what other people think about me but for me personally it'll make me feel weird because I'll be like "Ooh, I'm not quite quite put together the second thing is when my daughters were looking at some photos um, I had a high school reunion this summer that I did not attend because I had other travel things to do 
but they put up pictures on a Facebook page and my daughters said, Mom, you look so much younger than everybody there. And I was like, really, you think so? And they're like, Mom, they don't even try anymore. And I was like, ooh, that was a little bit harsh, I thought. But, you know, they, they started pointing out, look at her hair. Look how she hasn't changed her hair since high school. Mm-hmm. Look how she hasn't changed her makeup since the 80s. Look how dark and raccoony her eyes look. And they were saying the comments like that. And I was like, guys, leave them alone. You know, they're doing the best they can. They're doing what they've always done. And, you know, it's really not about you. And they were like, Mom, you just look so much better because they said, you can tell that you've taken care of your skin. Yeah, you think? Because I'm such a crazy person about sunscreen and about how I just really... Listen, I went to the beach yesterday, and I am not sunburned. Now, you can't tell because I've been manipulating my face. But I'm not sunburned because I put on sunscreen big time. And I had a hat on, and I sat under a shade. I did as much as I possibly could. Let's do on my neck right here. Uh, I did as much as I possibly could. Sorry. I was losing my grip. To avoid the sun getting in my face because the sun will damage your face and cause wrinkles and that's lotion by the way I have a big glove of lotion there I kind of look gross sorry about that so it is um, important essential to protect your skin from the sun it will help you look younger for longer now, you know, some of you have already heard about the procedures that I had done to, in order to try to combat some things. But I'll go over them again just so you won't be like, you know, some people are like, oh, you cheated. No, I didn't cheat. I took care of some business is what I did. So the first thing I had done was when I was about 42, I think it was when I had um, laser resurfacing done. So... That is where they essentially take off the top layer of your skin with a laser. And you can get it done now that's a lot less severe than what I had it, had done. Um, you can just have spots done and, and stuff like that, which is kind of what I would suggest for a first time. But after that, after I had, because I had dark, what, the reason I did it is I had really dark brown patches on both cheeks and one really sizable one up here and everything was just looking like I had a dirty face all the time because my skin was so damaged so they did that and that procedure um, let's talk about cost because I know some people are like well how much does that cost you the laser resurfacing I believe was four hundred dollars and it was the best four hundred dollars I've ever spent in my life because then my skin started all brand new. And so since that time, I have been like a crazy person about sunscreen because I don't want that sun damage again. Now I'm getting some again over here and up here because I live in Florida and I drive around in my car and the sun comes in and I have a sunroof. And so the sun is just going to get you if you live in Florida. So I think I might go have those spots taken care of again let me go down this side this time and we'll see how that goes just to have them lasered and, and taken off so that they're you know better and laser resurfacing also helps with your collagen production so that's a good thing too you know they used to inject collagen for for lips but they stopped doing that because it's so temporary and so that was the, one of the procedures I had done. And then the second procedure I had done was what a procedure called face tight, where they just take the jowls and they, they take everything out of here. They heat it, and then your skin starts to build collagen again or whatnot. And that's, that's kind of what's going on there. I didn't like that procedure as well as I... 
because it left me with a scar right here on my face and I, I was really upset about that. But I'm like, you know what? It's a scar and I, I have a couple of little ones under here. So I'm not excited about that. But what can you do? I mean, once a scar is there, you know, you can treat it with vitamin E and you can treat it. And this will actually help it too. I should probably go over that with collagen production. And so we'll do that. And that's that. All right, so I've been doing this German wand, I think, for probably, I don't know, um, maybe six or seven minutes, and that's all I need to do. So I'm done now, so I'll unplug it because it stays on, and I don't want to put the cap on before I unplug it. And I'll use that three times a week, so every time I run, I'll use my derma wand. That'll be a way for me to keep myself accountable because I'm like a lot of people where accountability is kind of a thing for me. If I'm not kept accountable, I'm not going to do because I'm just going to be like, yeah, 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 whatever. So I try to make myself accountable in, in small ways so that that way I can get done what needs to be done. So to keep myself accountable, every time I run, I'll use my derma wand. That's not hard, because I run three times a week, and this will be done three times a week. Comes in this cute little pink pouch, so it doesn't take up a lot of space in your thing. So now that I've done that, now they want you to put on this other moisturizer for support, it says. I think it has some uh, hy hyaluronic. I learned how to say the word stuff in it so we'll just do like that and on my neck where I did my neck and that is my facial treatment for today I feel like I'm going to do um, probably later on in the day I will more than likely do uh, no I probably won't I'll just let my face do its thing like be a face so there, I'm all moisturized, I'm all done with that, and that's the pr thing that I'm doing for my face today. My hair is, it's also hair for you today, so I don't heat style it in any way. And I got in the shower and I washed it after I ran, and so now it's just drying. I probably will put it up in a ponytail and under a hat today when I go to the grocery store, just because I don't like the way it looks, it kind of looks kind of witchy. <laughs> anyway. So that's, that's it for today as far as skincare and I talked about the race and all that good stuff. So I will see you tomorrow. I'm looking for something new to try tomorrow, which I kind of have something in mind. So we're, we're going to try that and work on the three areas of your life. I say oh, you should always work, it on, work on your spirit, you know, work on your spirit, make yourself um, more centered. Your body, do something good for your body, and your mind. So for my spirit today, I've already said a bunch of prayers, and I have a scripture reading to do. For my body, I ran, and I did a personal best, which also helps my spirit. And um, I'm going to make good food choices today. Since I started doing my heart-healthy, colon-healthy diet, I have dropped another half pound, so I'm happy about that. I don't really care about that number. I just want to be healthy, so that's that. And then... Uh, my mind, I'm working on a writing piece, cleaning it up, getting it ready to send out to a contest. Um, and it's going slowly, so I have to work on that today. So those are the three areas of my life, spirit, body, and mind. You work on those three areas every day, you'll be a happier person, you'll be a kinder person, and you'll be kind to other people. Have a wonderful day.